Hey everybody, it's 420 Shorty, and I just got off work, and tonight I was planning to put some ladybugs in the plants. I had just gotten some today, and I wanted to get them out there tonight so they could stay in the plants and be in the cool air and not fly away and hopefully eat as many bugs as they can. So I'm going to try to show you the whole process. I'm not going to try to edit anything out if possible. And I'm just going to go change it to some workout in the yard clothes real quick. And let's get started on that. And I'll show you all the whole process I'm going to go through. It's going to be a few steps because I have to get rid of the diatomaceous earth first. So I have to rinse down the, the trunk of the tree because diatomaceous earth can kill ladybugs. So I'm going to get rid of that first real quick. And then I'm going to be putting the ladybugs into the trees. And I'll show you all that whole process. So... Let's get going. Okay, so now we are out by the watering barrel. And before I turn on the pump, I'm going to check for frogs because that's what I always have to do. So none gets stuffed into the pump. Okay, no frogs. Usually if there is a frog, I just scoop it out. Set it under the lid. <clears throat> Set it under the lid and let it do whatever it's going to do. And if it's still there when I'm done and filling back up the water, I usually put it back in. So, no big deal. Frogs are great for the environment and they're good for, you know, new growth. So, we have my water. It's already filled up. I am going to now plug it in and put in the pH down because I already know my water is really high pH all the time and I know exactly what I need to put in it to start the pH being at 6.5 so I can wash off the trunks of the trees. So I'm gonna go do that right now. Pour the pH down. And then let that go for a minute. Okay. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I chose this plant, the broken one, because it had a space here so you could really see what I'm doing. And when I do the rest, you really can't see because of all the little branches. So I have my water that's already pH, and I'm just going to try to squirt down the tree. And just wash it all off. All the glitter tomatoes are because it does become water soluble and so it mixes right in or just kind of dissolves and washes out. I'm going to try to get whatever's right on the, the soil right below the tree trunk. And that's what we're doing. Okay, so and it says to spray the tree a little so that the ladybugs don't try to run away as much because then they'll want to have stuff to drink. They want to be, they're thirsty, they'll have food, the bugs, and they'll have the water to drink. And so hopefully they'll stick around. That's the hardest part about ladybugs and any kind of predator bug is the fact that they don't like to stick around. They will go to, you know, the yard next door, the trees in the yard, whatever else. All right. All right, and I'm going to try to give them some water all the way up. So I tried to give them some water all the way up. I think you could see what I was doing. And I'm going to now continue to do this to all the other plants. And I will put the video on hold for just a few minutes. Oh. Okay, I'll show you another time. 
It actually helps to have the spotlight Oops. instead of my flashlight. There goes my flashlight again. But I just rinse it off like that. I try not to give the plant too, too much water because I already watered them today. And I just throw up some water. Oops. Hopefully that thing fit on the phone. <laughs> two containers of ladybugs. I actually have one more that I'm going to wait until the morning and release those because I think the 1500 and 1500 is going to be great. You know, that's, you know, that's almost 3000. That's about 3000 ladybugs. So I'm hoping that this will be good for now and release some in the morning and then they won't be all totally combating. They can all kind of spread out a little, but be able to hold garden hopefully. So it says on there to just open them up after having them in the fridge, have them out in the cool either at night or early, early in the morning. And when I get up, it's late enough to where it starts getting hot already. And I just thought it would be better to do them at night, which it says is okay on the thing, on the container. And I'm just gonna open them up and shake them into the tree like it says. And then I will leave a container under one of the trees and let them finish escaping. But it says you can sprinkle a little over a few different plants, hopefully. And um, there we go. So hopefully this will work and I won't have to start trying to use bug spray up. So I'm gonna set this one down. And then here, let me... You can actually see what I'm doing. <laughs> I really can't tell because I'm the only person with my own eyes here. All right, so I'm just going to open it, and you can already see that they're trying to start to climb out right now. See? And if you can see that, they're all over the place. They're really everywhere. Try one way to go. Okay, so I'm going to shake them down here by the bottom, or kind of on the trunk of the tree, and just let them fall. It says they like to climb up, so I'm just going to go and repeat this process to a few different trees, and I'll, take, I'll just take you along with me. Okay, so I'm going to, I have them crawling over, all over me now, so I'm going to shake some off the lid. I actually might leave the lid in here, just because they're all stuck to the lid, so I'm going to set it down at the bottom of that tree, and try to shake a few more into here. And then I'll move down to the next tree. There we are. Okay, and this is the broken one that I was showing you on before. So and if I, I see them crawling, I'm just going to toss them in there and take them off of the roof. Because they like to hang on to the container, but I want a few in each tree, you know? And then we can turn around and. I don't know if you can really see. But I'm gonna try to... Ooh, my head might be in the way, I guess, huh? <laughs> All right, here. So I'm gonna do this real quick. Nope. There you go. There they are. Okay, so that's... There's still some more in there. I'm just gonna leave this one in the bottom of this tree. I'm going to leave it sideways just because that way they aren't going to be stuck underneath it as well. There's like a less, less of it touching the ground so they can't be under it. All right, and you can see where I left it right there. Okay, next tree. Okay, I'm actually going to go back and put a few more in the other trees too. You know, again, like the second round, but I'm, gonna, I'm doing them all once. And then I'll do the little, I'll put a little bit, there you go, <laughs> I'll put a little bit on 
and those tiny trees. Woo, look at that one. That one's got a lot in there. Holy cow. All right, I want just sick wood in this one. It says they might want to fill up. So let's move all the way. All right. There we go. Yeah, there's lots of ladybugs. A bit more there. And then we've got the little ones that I did, the clones. Do a couple there. Ooh, that was kind of a lot. I think I'm going to let those ones share with that other front one. Ah. <laughs> Good thing I'm not editing, huh? Because <laughs> editing that out would be just sad. <laughs> I want a few on the clones, if possible. So I dumped a few things in there. There we go. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Let me show you these. You can see it's kind of getting buggy out. I'm just going to take a handful and sprinkle them on here. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Just kind of brush them off. Yeah. You like to hang on to me. Too bad I don't have all the bugs. <laughs> all right. Okay. So I'll take a few of these ones and put them out here. A couple more. Okay, I'll turn around to this one. I'm sure they're going to find their way into the vegetable garden. They always do. <laughs> and then I'm going to put a little bit more in this one, even though the lid is in this one. And then I'm going to take this and put it in here. Because that was a lot of them. There we go. In the last few, I'm going to take this one and go set it in the bottom of one of the ones up front. Okay, and see, there's the containers in the bottom of that one. And there was lids in the other ones. So I'm going to take this one and I'm going to set it in the one that's broken. Ah, sorry. Right, there you go. And I'm just going to set it down here. And let them crawl out. And there we go. <laughs> okay all right hopefully you can see me i'm not totally sure um hopefully i'm in the picture <laughs> um well that concludes on how i put the ladybugs in the plants i just thought i would do like the quick emergency video of this is what I'm going to get to do, and in the morning, sometimes I'm not really awake and can barely figure out, you know, I don't want to be talking on video and all that. So, there you go. That's how I put the ladybugs in the plants, and hopefully it'll help work, and we'll get rid of some of the mites. I noticed that they've been having some mite problems the last few days, actually like the whole week, and I was bummed nobody had ladybugs at the time, and so I've been just waiting for them to get into stock, and so I could get them and bring them here. <laughs> and they didn't have any more praying mantis because it's past their, uh, the, the season when they can sell them. So that's all fine. I just, you know, wanted to make sure I got some kind of predator bugs out here to start with. And then later on, after all the predator bugs end up leaving, then if they do, hopefully they won't, but <laughs> most of the time they end up leaving because there's so many other things out there to eat when it's outdoor that they don't just stay right here. They'll eat some and then leave and we'll see how it goes. But this way, if I do have to spray, I can wait till later on in the season and my plants and the bugs won't get used to the spray and build up a tolerance. So that's what I'm trying to do is prevent the, but the bad bugs like the mites and the thrips and the leaf eaters and all these other bugs that are attacking the plants. I wanna to try to prevent them by 
using the ladybugs first and then using sprays later on if I have to. So the whole big hopeful is that the ladybugs will stay in the yard and just feed on all the on all the other bugs and be the great predators that they are. <laughs> So, sorry I'm not going to edit this. Um, I just wanted to get it out to you guys and, you know, get it out there, <laughs> okay? And I know all my videos have been all jumbled, but, you know, I guess that's what life working, yeah. I guess that's what life working as a bug tender is going to be like. So, I'm going to still keep trying to get the other video out to you and just keep sharing all the steps and all the work you have to do. It's a pretty tough job, but I love it and that's why I keep doing it. So... Happy growing, y'all, and have a peaceful night. And like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Sorry, it's late. And again, have a peaceful night. <laughs>